everybody, this is Dragonheart, and welcome back to the Egypt campaign for Total War Rome 2. In the previous few episodes, we took Paratonion and we took Ammonium from our good old friends here, Cyrenaica. And we're looking now in this part to try and take them out permanently. Try and attack them here, and then eventually try and take Cyrene. So here we go. This is going to be important, this episode, I think. Try and get a hold on the western... The western front here. I might try and take Orgila from the Nazamones. Let's, let's have a quick look at, at what they have. They, they do dislike us. They like the fact that I released some troops from Cyrenaica, but they condemn my military actions against Cyrenaica, my war with Cyrenaica, and my cultural aversion. They're at war with Libya themselves and with Carthage, so it might be best to go for them now while they're weak and while they're preoccupied. If I take us to the southern part of our empire down here, we are slowly making our way towards Ptolemy Theron with this army here. We have war elephants by Seleucus. We have Egyptian pikemen, light cavalry, and some Egyptian slingers as well. I might try and, rec and recruit one more unit before I go in. Let's see what's best. We have cav. Um, what to go for? Carrion axemen. Fear the pikemen, they well, the melee attack isn't as good, their morale isn't as good, their health isn't as good, armor slightly better, melee defense is better with them. I'll go with the unit of carrying axemen, get, get some variety in there. And of course, we have an army here, nice little army here, it's full of pikemen, some infantry, and some slingers, plus my general. I might want to change my general actually. I want to get a better unit here, so let's just do that quickly before we hit the end turn. We want to change that to an S as well, Beasts of the East. <laughs> and let's just replace him now. What's he got? Campaign map movement. He got some decent stats. Morale for war elephants. Ah, oh, I can't replace him right now. I have no money. <laughs> um, it's probably important that we we do that first in case the Seleucids attack us. So we're going to go back up there and change him first. I think that should be the priority for the time being. Replace him. Asonides. Damianos, he loot. We'll hire you. And we're going to give you. Spoil for choice, aren't we? Ferronic Guard. Oh, God. No, we want to go for. I think we'll go for the War Elephants as well. They are quite powerful, as you, as you probably know. And my. My uh, champion can give them some military training, that's important. And I think we're probably okay to end the turn here. Just double checking everything. Let's go back up here, let's see. Can't attack them this turn. This. No. Okay, yep, I think we're okay to end turn, so that's what we're going to do. Ooh, my goodness, skills, of course. On legendary difficulty, when I end the episode, it resets. Resets to the start of that turn, so I need to be wary of that. Let's get these stats going. What did I pick last time? Uh, melee attack, campaign map, armor and uh, defense. Uh, I think I probably went for that one, and then morale units, my melee, that's useful. Go with that, and then of course, oh, let's look at all this melee, morale for elephants, and I think authority is what we. What we went for, and we can go for more. We're going to go for Gravitas, Faction Power, Military Bonus. Yeah, we'll go for that. That'd be useful, perhaps. And then I think you as well. Yep. You've got, oh, you got the ones I put in last time. And we have 10% chance of discovering hidden agents and armies. Cultural Conversion, Local Populace, Minor Bonus to Diplomacy. That, that's useful. We'll go for that. Go for that, and what have you got? You you haven't got much cunning, have you? Zeal, oh, hang on. cunning is four, authority is four, zeal is on three, so we want to get you zeal. Give you some zeal we want. Here we go. Excellent. Now I think we can enter. Oh, no we can't. Another skill. Agapios, Agapios, where are you? Ready for battle. Ready for My naval man over here. There he is, we're going to give you that. Trophy hunter. Yeah, we got that. And you're three, three, and three, so we're gonna give you some 
Give you some zeal as well. Oh, we've got another one. We're going to give you... Oh, our research rate. We'll get that. There we go. End turn. There we go. Finally, an end turn. That's something for me to consider in the future when I'm recording this Let's Play. Because it does... If I do end on a turn, it will reset that to the start of that turn. So it's probably best if I have upgrades to do that in the future. And what do we have here? Sirenatia are offering me 2,400, which is quite a bit of money and peace. But you know what? I don't want that. I want to take it out and get all of Libya and everything it has to offer. So we're going to say no to you. And we might actually have a battle here. Nope, oh, maybe not. Running away like cowards. We're just going to chase them down and hopefully destroy them. That is the plan. Here we go. So, research complete. Training reforms. Returned home. Rebellion imminent in Libya. I say bring it on. Another rebellion. Nice and fun for us. And we're going to try and get some assimilation. Because we can get the upkeep cost down. We can also build a skirmisher camp. So that should be useful. Um... Both these generals. Um, we we'll send this guy back because they are more or less full strength, and we're going to need them for the rebellion. This army, we have war elephants. I think we're okay. Can we get more? We can actually get more, so I'm not too worried about whatever's up ahead. We're just going to march straight forward. Cyrene's actually a wall city, so we'll have to be careful when we're trying to take it. But once we get through the gates, the elephants will wreck so much damage that they won't be able to deal with us I don't think and then we'll go down towards Orgila and that'll be this area consolidated and I wouldn't mind getting a battle in this episode what can we get here we can't get war elephants unfortunately mercenary leopard warriors they look quite cool I might actually get one of them just to try them out oh they've got quite a lot of men here I wish I had well I do have war elephants so we should be okay I think and then Jerusalem we are receiving military training from Brave of the King. <laughs> what a name. Brave of the King. And interesting. And of course we have our friends the Seleucid Empire up here. We probably need another army in Petra. They're going to go for Petra I think which... Oh god. Slingers, mob and Egyptian infantry. That's not good. Although it's a wall settlement so I'm not too worried. We're going to expand it to begin with anyway. And then I think uh, Jerusalem already has a muster field. Consecrated ground for the public order could be useful. Public order is a little bit low. Um, Hellenic culture as well. Yeah, we'll go for that. Can we raise a secondary army? We have enough to do it, I think. We'll get a statesman in, I think, because it's cheaper. We'll go for Telepolymus. I see. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is what I hate with this. Why can't it stay on the one thing? Right, it's got one, four, and three, which I can't look at. Oh, no, I, I, I can't. <laughs> I just didn't click. Silly me. Okay, one, four, and three. Your authority is crap. Look at that. Oh, my God. Minus 50%. Ugh. Cunning and three. And then you are much better. Four, four, and three. Yeah, we're going to go for Yasen. Yasen. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm going to go with some uh, war elephants because they, they're just so badass. It's almost like cheating in a way, but if you've got them, use them. They're such a big, play a big role in this campaign. I mean, if this, if they attack Petra, I don't have an awful lot of good units here with mobs and Egyptian infantry. And the Slingers can only do so much. There's only two of them, whereas they've got lots of good men. Well, they've got decent men, but my elephants should be more than a match for them. I will eventually go up for, towards Tyros and take that as well. And how much are those leopards? Oh, we can't afford them now, unfortunately. Damn. I'm going to branch forward slightly. Fortify. And can we recruit anything this turn? Slingers again. The slingers will be useful if I can use them wisely. And then I think I can probably take these out. There's 20 of them all together, but I think we can take them out on a daring mission. I'm also going to make this episode a little bit longer because I had a request in one of the previous episodes to... Make them a little bit longer, which i got to say that's a big compliment because I thought that going for the smaller or the shorter paced episodes would be more beneficial to me and my channel because I'm not, not the biggest of channels, especially when it comes to Total War. There's many, many great channels out there which are much bigger than mine. So to have one or two of you say that you wouldn't mind seeing them a little bit longer, 
is a big compliment. Oh, they want on aggression. I don't. So how about... No. I want to wipe you out and take everything that you have to offer me. <laughs> I am King Dragonheart of Egypt. Oh, and Nabatea want to trade. I will trade, but I will do it with some money, please. How about a thousand? Oh, it's still high. Okay, we're going to try and get even more from you. How about two thousand? Moderate. How about... One thousand five hundred is high. Okay, we're going to go for that. Yes, excellent. Money, money, money. We like the money. Rebellion, and we have our rebellion finally. Increase in rank. Mission issued. Capture Abdumatu. Where the hell is that? What the fuck? What? I don't want to go there. Why? Are they? Oh, they've, they've taken that. Have they taken that from. <gasps> we used to have that. Abdumatu. Oh my god. Well, we'll take it anyway. Is it a... Oh, it's only a minor settlement. It should be quite easy to take out with some more elephants. How about fortified friends here? Right, this is going to be the part where we have loads of battles, I think. So we're going to jump straight in. We'll probably have two or three if we can. i got lots of money this turn to use. And we have a rebellion. So first off, we're going to deal with this rebellion. So what do we have? Our general, Peltas, uh, cavalry. I should have my reinforcements. We should be okay. Attack them. Yeah, showing on the auto resolve that we are heavily outnumbered, but guys, I think we can deal with these. We have some some pikemen. They're going to be beneficial for the horses. The rest we can take out. I shall see you all on the battle map. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the battlefield. We shall start the battle and hopefully claim victory. We should do in this battle, to be honest. I mean, they have lots of cav, but apart from that, uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, let's zoom in. Peltas. They have Peltas, that's the only other unit they have apart from Citizen Cav. Citizen Cav is actually quite dangerous, not a bad unit at all, so we will have to be a little bit weary in this battle. But we have a nice variety of troops, apart from the mob, of course. Egyptian infantry isn't that good, but they could do something against the horses if used correctly. The pikemen are probably going to be what wins me this battle. If I can deploy them and use them, then that will be what will win us today. I'm going to zoom into this. Go through my units, give you some of detailing of the brief, the brief, the brave men of Egypt. I'm actually using a new mod, but well, it's not a new mod, but it's new to me because I haven't used it yet. And it's the gem mod, the graphic enhancement mod. Let me know what you think of this graphic. Lovely design on these units here. Nice clear. I must say, it's really improved the graphics of this game. Looks absolutely insane. But anyway, enough eye candy for now. We have a battle to win. We shall focus on the eye candy later on, and we shall eat that candy and enjoy it. So, first off, we are going to check the range of my units. I think the bowmen, 125, 150, yes, the slingers are more than the bowmen. We're going to actually group these together in that case, march them forward with the general behind. We're going to group him as well. The mob are going to be my throwaway unit. Most, All of these are throwaway, actually, because they are garrisons after all. Egyptian infantry get their own group as well. We're going to throw them into the fire. And then the pikemen are going to be right in the centre here. We'll start our deployment around here. And then we'll gradually try to sling them. I'm going to actually aim for their peltasts first. Because I think we can hit their peltasts. And not worry about the cavalry. Kind of kneecap them there. And then go in for the kill. And while my men go into position, quick question for you guys. How are you enjoying the game now? It's been about 9 or 10 months since release. We're currently in June. Soon we'll be in July. And What were you like this time last year in July? When the game was being promoted on the forums and on YouTube. All the videos that we saw. Is it what you expected? Did you enjoy release? Did you enjoy it now? Let me know in the comments below. I have to say, I was a little bit disappointed when the game was first released. Um... There were things which I thought uh, could have been done better. I think it was a little bit rushed. Certainly some of the gameplay mechanics, the politics system doesn't really work for me. There's some things I'm a little bit disappointed with still, but it has made a big improvement since then. I think lots of patches since release. Probably too many. 
I think Shogun 2 only had four or five, I'm not quite sure. First Roam had about two or three patches as well, but now it's gone a bit ridiculous. Just gonna gradually bring these forward. I don't want to outposition them. I'd like to try and do this cleanly and not take too many losses if possible. As we zoom into the the rebels, we're gonna squash this rebellion. I quite like the design on their shields. Nice scorpion by there. Nice horse by there. Looks like an eagle by there. <laughs> Look at that one, oh my god. I have to zoom back into that. It's like, where's it gone? Where are you gone? <laughs> there it is. Look at that. <laughs> like a smiley face. Look at that big nose, two eyes, black hair. That is just troll. That is troll tastic. And it's got a tongue poking out as well. Oh my god. That was great. That is fantastic. Okay. Let's bring these guys forward a little bit more. About there. Slingers. Mob's gonna go in first, they can be used to break up the charge of the horses. Egyptian infantry there. Pikemen. There. Get a strong left flank going. Get skirmish off. Get quick reload on. Checking the range of all of these. Not too far off. I think if they go there, and then they go perhaps there. Let's just check the range. Oh, they move in, right. Retreat. Quickly move men forward. This is why I didn't want, didn't want them to react like this. Try and coax them into... Yes, here we go, that's what I wanted. Two of them can munch them there, that's one of them gone. Oh shit. Mob. Mob's out manoeuvring me right here. Let's get those pike men in quick. Oh, pike men up here. Steady. Use the whip. Missile infantry ready. Get some peltas going up there. Charge. Shit. Egyptian infantry not the best for this kind of uh, battle with cavalry. Citizen Cav proving quite decisive here. Get those peltas going in, please. Get some shots in. Taking a while to take out this cav here. My archers have uh, decided to jump in for some reason. <laughs> Don't know why. What am I, what am I doing? It doesn't mean wrong, I think. Oh well, it happens. Not going well, guys. Might be losing this battle quite badly, actually. This is why I wish I had cavalry right now. They've lost lots of citizen cav. Aim for them. Bloody mob, I hate mob units. It's the worst unit in this game probably. Change it, turn the pikemen around quickly. Pikemen can win this for me. And my general. I'll lose all the rest of my units probably though, in the process. Turn. Pikes. Problem is pikemen are bloody slow. I might do a new box now. <laughs> Make them charge me. Might be for the best. Archers. Oh god. Charge me from behind. Problem is though, the uh, Peltas can use all their ammunition on me without cavalry. I can't chase them down. Oh, I'm going to have to go into melee against the cavalry. Oh, my pikemen are losing. Shit. Oh, no. If I lose them, I've lost. <laughs> Shit, turn. Inspire. Can't believe this. I'm losing. I've lost this battle. Oh, no. 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 Damn it. Damn it. 
<sighs> well, you can see the AI improvements below. My god. What a battle that was. Didn't get many kills, did we? Cavalry completely had me running in circles. I'm gonna have to try and squash this rebellion quickly. Close defeat. Still got my general by the looks of things. Let's have a look. Yeah, we still have him. Put him in there. I'm gonna have to get some mercenary war elephants, I think. One of them will sort him out. In the meantime, we're gonna continue our march towards Cyrene. Let's get a unit of war elephants here. Let's go for it. Let's charge in and attack them. Oh, look at this. They're suffering attrition. People dying all over the place. My god, what is going on, guys? Oh, this is going to be quite an easy battle. I'd like it if they could sally out and attack me. That would be quite cool. And how many war elephants do I have? Let's see. Oh, three. Don't stand a chance. Don't stand a chance. I say that now, probably be talking about defeat later on. <laughs> okay, so that's sorted up there. We've got this rebellion, but I think we can deal with that. I mean, one unit of horse is nearly gone anyway. Problem is, the further you leave the rebellion go on, the more units and the more mercenaries they recruit turn by turn. So you, you need to squash it quickly and early, otherwise you're you're asking for trouble. So uh, the thing is, my garrison is, is down to one unit of Egyptian pikemen with, with only 62, so I'm going to have to give it a turn anyway. We're just going to see how we do. Those cavalry units, my god, they bloody irritating. Anyway, down south now. We have over a thousand to spend. Do I spend it on this army? I think we're probably good enough to go down wage war and take this. 20 plus the garrison, which is what? 8 and 4. Levy spearmen. I think we can take that. And then up here in Jerusalem. We've got the Seleucid here. They are fortified. There's only 8 of them. I've only got 1 by here though. I need to recruit here as well. So I need to decide. Seleucids or south. I could take this get there they could get there in one turn now that's a strong possibility and before we do that let's upgrade my agent and we're gonna give him what's he got he hasn't got much cunning so we want to give him some cunning that's good for him problem I have is Jerusalem will be open then for attack but I can always swoop in with this guy we can have another battle on our hands guys it's gonna fight the Seleucid Empire for the first time Beasts of the East, do your worst or your best. <laughs> they have lots of hillmen. We have lots of pikemen and Egyptian infantry and slingers. If I can outsling them and then send the elephant in, I think I can win this. So I shall see you all on the battlefield.